Rima Ghanem joins me now. She is the head of HR for Chemicals with Saudi Aramco. Thanks so much for taking the time, Reem. Now, throughout the last few days here at IPTC, one of the big challenges we're hearing about is the comp competition really for talent. And this is something I think that we've seen in the industry for a while now, but it's almost escalating, I think, as things change. Talk to me particularly, you know, in terms of what you're doing, working with your colleagues and indeed working with the wider industry. Just how tough and how big that challenge is right now? Uh, the competition for talent has been, uh, I mean, it's actually a war for talent really for the past few years, but especially now, uh, we've noticed that the pipeline for talent, especially in the uh, both the upstream and downstream industry, is is very very um, uh, shallow. Um, a lot of the our our, our uh, academia is not necessarily focusing enough on offering the disciplines, the degrees, the majors that our industry needs. Uh, in addition, our young talent. I don't see our industry as uh, attractive and so it's uh, it's very important that we uh, remind ourselves to keep uh, our industry attractive to our young talent to make sure that we are offering them the challenges the opportunities the 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 um, everything that they need in terms of um, as as a diverse population both men uh, young men young women entering the energy industry uh, with passion and for a purpose to provide energy to the world that's that's what we need to focus on and we need to influence our stakeholders whether that's academia uh, and the rest of the industry to work together to ensure that we are getting that pipeline of young professional talent entering the industry courageous and enthusiastic to make it better for tomorrow. I suppose one of the, the good things in many ways if you can get the talent and you can get the young people in they're almost digital ready. Uh, talk to us about this big shift I think in the industry where technology is really driving it. I mean everything is pretty much going mobile and if nothing else we have um, a pool of talent almost ready to adapt to that so it's about getting them in and then keeping them but how are you finding their their attitude their approach you know it, it takes a wonderful inclusive leader to recognize the capabilities of our young talent and we're fortunate that many uh, of our leaders in the energy industry recognize that uh, our young professionals are tech savvy they they they're digital natives and so they want we want to encourage their innovation we want them to bring that creativity we want them to influence us to um, to change our technology to make it more effective be more efficient in our industry um, I'm, I'm very uh, happy with uh, our young professionals today. Not only are they strong uh, techno technologically, but they're also very capable in influencing this change. Um, we have a Young Leaders Advisory Board in Saudi Aramco, and you see many of the young leaders here uh, supporting IPTC 2020, and of course happening for the first time in Saudi Arabia, in my dear country, uh, at my dear company. Uh, it's making us all feel very, very proud uh, to be a part of this, and they've influenced IPTC and the success of IPTC this year. Um, I can't wait to see what they're up to uh, in 2022 when we host IPTC again uh, here in Saudi Arabia. And the, uh, the, the feedback I've been receiving has been phenomenal. When you look at um, the people attending IPTC this year, you'll find that it's, I, I would say, over 50% young professionals, which represents really the demographic of our industry today. And so if, if we keep them engaged, we keep them interested, we, keep the, we uh, utilize their phenomenal ideas and their strengths, their capabilities, the future is, uh, is, is going to be beautiful, uh, of course. Now talk to me a little bit perhaps about what companies can do in terms of engaging with academia. And I know Saudi Aramco here, you know, there's innovation centers. I mean, you work very close with many of the universities in that. And indeed, many of the universities here, of course, very much specializing, particularly in the energy sector. But again, globally, we have that challenge too. But how can companies reach out? How can they engage? And how can they make sure that what's on the curriculum at any university is actually relevant? to the needs of the industry in 2020 and beyond for the next decade? We have to talk, we have to communicate, and we have to work together towards this, not just as uh, companies on our own, but as an industry. Um, we have young professionals studying at different universities all across uh, the globe with our sponsorship program at Saudi Aramco. We've been doing that for 40, uh, 50 years now. Uh, most of our execs are, uh, are, are graduates of the college degree program for non-employees. We've sponsored uh, many, many young professionals into, uh, the, uh, into the company by uh, supporting their education. 
Now, uh, as, they, as, as we do this, we have to continue our partnership, whether that's in the leadership development with academia, and bring them uh, into the company, bring them into our research, collaborate with them. They're not just users. We're not just users of their services. We uh, are partners in this innovation. Um, so, so whether that's um, working together as a, as a collaborative industry, uh, working collaboratively with academia, and bringing in that other point of view, that other perspective from the young professionals. Imagine what uh, that will do to ensure that we reach our uh, potential in the future. I don't uh, I don't see a future uh, without this kind of partnership and um, the more we can do that, the more we can encourage um, open transparency where we can solve problems, innovate, uh, work on complex um, uh, problem solving, uh, complex ideas, that's when we can innovate, we can, we can reach our goals and, and expand our horizons even further. Um, today we, we're doing a lot, yes. Uh, but to reach the tomorrow that we want, we have to do a lot more. Now talk to me again about here this conference, this exhibition. First time in Saudi Arabia, as you said, of course. Um, and I mean, it's been tremendous success here the last few days. We've, the halls have been absolutely crowded. There's some great technology on display. There's a lot of knowledge sharing. There's, there's a tremendous buzz here. But also I think for Saudi Arabia to be able to put on this show, the first IPTC that has come here, and I think it's been done with great fanfare and as you said, you know, it's a very proud day. But, you know, your colleagues that you talk to too, you must all feel, you know, very proud and very happy to be here and to welcome so many people from around the world. It's, it's beautiful to, to welcome so many people around the world. Um, at Saudi Aramco we have 100 different nationalities. I'm pretty sure we're seeing uh, 100 or more different nationalities here at IPTC. What a great representation of our industry. Um, I was having dinner yesterday with a group of colleagues and uh, we were looking around and no, not one person was from the same country. And that's, that's, that, that's our industry and that represents our needs and represents um, everything that our industry is about. Now, whether that's uh, utilizing the strengths and capabilities in, from Asia, Pacific, or strengths and capabilities from uh, America, we, we, we have to work together. The, it, it is a proud moment to be able to host uh, IPTC and to host so many different people from different nationalities here in our country for the first time. Um, the e-tourist visa, the, the, the infrastructure, the hotels, the, the services uh, over the last couple of years have expanded exponentially and uh, it's enabling us to uh, dream bigger, to do more, to uh, really play a big role in uh, the, the, the communication, the, the uh, bringing together of our industry partners. So uh, it's, it's really a proud moment. It's, it's, it's beyond words. <laughs> Super, we leave it there and get you get back to work. Thank you so much, my Thank dear. You. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.